I think what first inspired me for the Kaya Simon Football Clinics uh, was the lack of opportunity I had growing up as a young female footballer. Now I'm able to provide an opportunity for young females in an all-girls environment uh, where they can come in, meet new friends, play the game that we all love and hopefully uh, walk away inspired and, and empowered um, to follow their dreams. We're going to play a fun game of tails and numbers in this square uh, to start off with. Uh, we'll get you guys warm, loosened up and then we'll get into the football stuff. Started in under sixes because my brother played it and it looked really fun. So. My first memory of football was when I scored my first goal and it was in the first, ga the first game and I scored it bottom corner and it was really cool. Growing up um, as a female footballer, I was one of two girls in my whole entire region. So there was obviously a lack of opportunity in terms of all girls clinics or, or teams and opportunity. And now it's really eye-opening to see how many girls are playing the game. Um, before Kai started these clinics, how when she was younger, what sort of opportunity she had and pathway she had, and there was almost uh, next to none. So she's very, very big on making sure that obviously this is now a pathway for these you know, young athletes. There's sometimes barriers between girls playing in, in boys' teams and um, by creating this environment, it's breaking down those barriers and, and allowing them to really express themselves and uh, come out of their shell feeling comfortable within themselves um, and also be able to express themselves on the football pitch. Don't limit your potential with low expectations. I think there's a really big emphasis that I'm trying to drive through these clinics on empowering girls and, and being confident within themselves and having a positive outlook on, on the opportunities that lie ahead of them, that they can do great things. Uh, it's not just you know the, the select few, but everyone has an opportunity to make a difference within their community, uh, within their football team. Uh, there's an opportunity for them to be leaders and strong female leaders. When you're with boys, it's lots of pressure and I play an all boys team, I'm the only girl, so it's probably good just to play with girls. The interaction is, is obviously the first thing we look at to make sure they're enjoying the experience. The change that I see from day one to day two in the girls is, is enormous and mm. you know, it really makes me happy that they feel comfortable in this environment. Mm. To come to Kai's camp to see what it was like and like to see what new skills I could learn and I learned a lot. It's really surprising and, and happy to see that uh, they're, they're learning from the things that we're teaching them and, and they're wanting to know more, they're eager to continually grow and seeing them progress and being able to uh, help a girl, you know, go from two juggles to six juggles in the span of five minutes is something that, that really makes me happy and, and proud of. Uh, I like learning all the skills and all the tricks and the new games as well. Yeah, the importance of, of leaving the game better than, than when I came in um, is paramount to me and I think throughout my whole career and still to this day I've always had that philosophy and that mindset that I want to have a positive influence on other, other girls and other females. I love the saying, you only get out what you put in. Yeah, definitely when I'm watching the girls training and stuff I see you know bits and pieces of me in, in the little ones and um, mainly the ones that are you know little rascals and hyperactive and um, you know in there trying to win every ball and trying to score every goal uh, and yeah that makes me really happy that you know that's a future Matilda right there. The smiles on their faces is not just because they've you know enjoyed the content of the clinic it's the fact they realize that now going forwards there's an opportunity to relate to someone that has gone through what they've gone through. I think self-belief in uh, females is obviously massively important um, not just in sport, but I think in everyday life as well. Uh, having that self-confidence. I wanted to make eyes to see um, like how cool she was, yeah, and how skillful she was. I'm really hoping that they leave feeling empowered and inspired uh, to achieve dreams that they never thought they could achieve and um, having a positive influence on the girls' lives and um, hopefully seeing them in a Matilda's jersey one day.